Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to create a Morse code simulation. So let's get started. Start by creating a sphere, then increase the columns and rows to around 100. After that, scale it along the y axis to 0.8 to give it a crystal like rock shape. Then add a mountain node to apply a noise for giving the surface a more organic and uneven looks. And change the noise type to fast. After that we need to use attribute noise for color variation. Let's control the colors now. Add a color nodes and set the attribute name to CD. Now simply pick the color whatever you like. I am taking a blue and purples. So it depends on you what you like and what fits your scene. Now add a node called attribute create. Name the attribute to temperature. And give it the value of 1 or maybe 10. Now click on the arrow icon and select some pre-video as the starting point for the simulation. For simulation we need a pyrosource spread. Then set the cooling rate to 0, hover about the nodes and click on the small eye icon to open the attribute visualizer. Enable the temperature attribute from the panel so you can see the spread in the viewport. Ok I think I select too many points so I am going to change the starting point from the simulation. Now add a attribute blur node, set the attribute to temperature, increase the blur iteration to higher number like 100 for smooth out the spread effect. Next add a attribute randomize node, set the attribute to p scale, this control the point scale, then adjust the minimum and maximum value to define the range of randomness. This will give your most instances a more natural variation in the size. Now let's control the p scale. Based on temperature, add a attribute remap node. Add a attribute remap node, set the input area to temperature and remap it to p scale. This way area with the higher temperature produce larger and give nice organic growth effects. Set maximum output and input will be same. Now add a scatter nodes and increase the total points count to generate more instances across the surface. Then add a copy to point nodes. Connect the scatter node to the second inputs. After that add a L system node to generate the shape and connect to the first inputs. Here we can tweak the setting to create a more uneven and natural looking structures. For example, small changes like randomness and scale can really enhance the looking more natural. And duplicating the L system and increase the generation. Tweaking some settings include the random seeds to break the similarity and add variation in the generation. I am duplicate one more to add even more variation. And finally merge everything together using a merge node. Next add a connectivity nodes and connect it to the merge geometry. Then add a adjustment from pieces node. Connect the merge geometry to the first inputs and connect the connectivity nodes to the second inputs. Now enable the piece attribute option in the copy to points nodes. Ok now we need to change the piece attribute to class, set the mode to random and make sure the copy to point node also use class as the attribute name. Add a point wrangler nodes and connected it before the scatter nodes and the wrangler set at the rate n equal to at the rate p to assign the position as the normal direction. One more thing we can do for variation is to add attribute randomized nodes, set the attribute to n and define the minimum value as minus 1 and maximum as 1. This will randomize the normal direction for more variation.
Now take a color nodes and connect it to the null and name as rock. Now merge both rock and geometry using merge nodes so we can preview the complete scene together. Here it is. Ok something doesn't look good, uh, let's fix it by removing the attribute randomize node that was affecting the normals. Instead add a new attribute randomize node, set the attribute to orient, use cutter in value type and set small value like 0.01. For all 4 components, this will introduce subtle randomness rotation to each instance for more natural look. Alright, let's move on some basic rendering karma. I will walk you through settings of lights, camera, materials to get nice crew of this simulation. First, we need to connect the null object containing our MOS geometry to the copy to points nodes. Retain the null node as a MOS for clarity. Now come back to object level, create a new geo and rename it to MOS. Press C in the network viewport to open the color palettes and set the color for the nodes to keep your nodes more organized. Now add one more geo, rename it to rocks, assign a different color. It will provide better visual separation in the networks. Inside the MOS geometry nodes, add an object merge node and give the path location of the MOS. Now do the same inside the rock geo. Add object merge node and set the path location to the rock. Now switch to Solaris context to set up lighting, shading and rendering using Karma. In Solaris we want to import soap import nodes in the Solaris and use it, it to import the most geometry from the object level. Rename the soap node for better understanding. You might notice that the most geometry look oversized when imported in the Solaris. To fix this, go back inside the most geometry nodes. Add a point wrangler and set at rate p scale to smaller value like at rate p scale 0 0.05 to reduce the size of instances. Now we can see the update result correctly in Solaris. Ok, something went wrong. Try changing the viewport perspective to Karma. Come back to object level. Actually, we don't need to set P scale. Instead, copy the same syntax and change the attribute to width. For seeing the correct result, we need to go to Solaris. Set the value according to your geometry. Click D in the viewport to open the display option. Under the background tab, you can change the background colors. I prefer setting it to dark. Now duplicate the SOP import nodes and use it import the rock geometry. And connect both by using merge node. For IDA camera, first set the angle in the viewport. Then click on the camera icon above the viewport to create a new camera from the view. For lighting, we can use HDRI. To do this, add a dome light node in a Solaris. And connect this to the merge node. Scroll down dome light parameter to find texture option. Here you can load HDRI images. Either use one you already have or like me, use one of the Houdini preset HDRI. For materials, add material library nodes and connect it to the rock. Inside the material library nodes, add a material x subnet to build the materials and rename the material x subnet to something like a rock. Inside the subnets, add a center surface node and connect its output to the surface output nodes. Here you have all the basic principal shader option available. To assign the materials, go back to stage. In the material library nodes, you will find an option called autofill materials. Just click on that to assign the available materials automatically. 
then enable the assign geometry and drag the rock from the compost scene panel and drop it the geometry location now the material will be assigned to the geometry if you want to use color attribute in karma materials you can add a geometry color nodes and connect this to the base color and make sure the signature set to color now that we have the color we can control the basic parameter like roughness and specular for importing a texture we can use the material tile image node so i'm selecting a diffuse texture map and connect this to the base color if your geometry doesn't have uvs to so go to back object level inside the geometry add a uv project nodes set the projection type to polar which works well for this type of shapes now go back to materials and assign the remaining texture maps and duplicate the image texture nodes rename it to rough and selecting the roughness map and connect this node to diffuse roughness and specular roughness respectively duplicate these nodes one more time and then import the normal map and rename the nodes to normals and select the normal map now add material normal map nodes to control the normals here you can set the intensity of the normals connect this output to the normals for the displacement map follow the same process add a displacement map node and set the displacement map here you also have the scale parameter to control the displacement strengths if you want to mix texture use mix node connect the second input to the texture you want to mix and first input to the base color and outputs will be in the base color here we can see that the both texture blend with each other for render connect the karma node after the camera in the karma render nodes there are two option if you want to render a single frame you can choose a single current frame if you want to render an entire animation or simulation so go for it for frame range if it's all done hit the save this icon to start render it will be saved the output in the folder called render you will find the location where you save the project file i think this is enough for today thanks for watching this video i hope to see you on next one